One night when everyone in the palace was sleeping, Siddhartha requested Channa to prepare his horse, Kantaka. In the meantime, he went into the room where Yasodhara and their newborn boy Rahula slept. He was filled with loving kindness towards them and pledged himself that he would come back to see them. But first, he had to understand why all creatures suffer and find out how they could escape from suffering. In the silence of the night, Prince Siddhartha mounted Kantaka. Accompanied by Channa, he left the palace and the city of Kapilavastu. They halted at a river some distance from the city and the prince took off his rich attire and put on the robes of a monk. Then he told Channa to take the horse back to the palace. At first, both Channa and Kantka denied going back, but Siddhartha ordered that he had to go on alone. With tears rolling down his face, Kantka watched as the prince walked out of sight. This part of the Buddha story is the turning period of the story of Gautam Buddha. Alar Kalama was his first teacher of Buddha, who taught him meditation and how to keep the mind calm. Buddha soon learned as much as his teacher and moved on to take further learning. Uddaka Ramputta Buddha found another great teacher, Uddaka, who was famous for his cleverness. Again, Gautama received it very quickly and soon comprehended it as much as his teacher. He observed that Uddaka could not direct him how to stop suffering, old age, and death either, and he had never heard of anyone who could solve these problems. Once again the Gautama Buddha was disappointed and left Uddaka, building up his mind to struggle by himself until he discovered the cause of all the misery of life. The Gautam Buddha story is incomplete without the introduction of his gurus. After Siddhartha left Rajraha, he went to see a sage, wise person, named Alar Kalama. He stayed with the sage and studied diligently. Soon, he knew as much as his teacher. But although he had learned how to make his mind very calm, he still did not know the way to freedom from all suffering. So he thanked Alar Kalama and left to find another teacher. During the process of getting enlightenment, Siddhartha practiced different forms of mudras which itself consist of different meanings and teachings.